What's up everybody, it's your boy Austin D back with another video. Before we get started, don't forget to go ahead and like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking. Also, you can hit me up on those various social media outlets in the description box below. All right, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, email, all that stuff. Hit me up, all right? All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, it's been, what, eight days since my last video? I had to take a little break, man. All right, but I'm back. I got some videos coming, all right? But the other day, I heard a call come out, and it reminded me of a call that I had back in the, uh, not FTL, but like right when I first started. So I'm just going to share this call with y'all. Right? It's real short, but it, it, it's funny, all right? So we get this call, all right? And basically, we get calls like people need to be committed to the hospital. They go to the mattress office, get paperwork, saying, hey, we got to take them to the hospital. That's what we do. So we get this call. It said my 90 year old, I think it was aunt, my 90 year old aunt called me and said that she just, she's about to drive her car into her, into her lake in the backyard. So we're like, all right, we're going over there. And they send me and another officer that we were like, I don't know how far away from FTO we were, but it wasn't that far. It had to be like a few months. So they send me and him out to the house, right? <laughs> we pull up, the niece pulls up, we're at, uh, there at the same time. I think it was somebody else at the house already. When we go inside and the this 90 some year old lady, I think she's 94, she's going crazy upstairs. I think she suffers from like a whole bunch of different type of medical shit, right? So we're talking to the family. We're like, I mean, if she's not going with y'all, we can't just take her to the hospital. You could try to go to the magistrate's office to get involuntary commitment paperwork taken out. And they're like, okay. So we're like, all right, we'll stand by here while y'all go and do that. So we're standing by, I'll tell you, this lady is going freaking crazy. All right, she keeps trying to get out of the room. She'll come and she would smack one of us, run back to her bed, put the covers over her head and just start screaming, right? So we're trying to like get her to calm down or I'm trying to get her to calm down, stop screaming. And then she would hit me again. So it's her point, I'm like, I look at the officer beside me, I'm like, bruh, I'm not just gonna keep getting hit. All right, this is like, this lady is 94, but she is like a fit 94 year old. Like she, 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 she legit was in shape, all right? You're looking at, uh, let's see, 225? I think it's okay. <sighs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, one more. Oh. <laughs> so we're looking at each other like, do we, put, do we put this lady in cuffs or what? Cause I'm not about to keep getting hit by this lady. I don't remember exactly what we did, but all of a sudden, our lieutenant shows up, right? And this is a lieutenant that is on my ass all the time. Like everything I do, this lieutenant was on my ass for. And he used to like walk up the calls and think he was all cool and shit. And he walks into the house and he's like, what we got going? Cause we've been on the call for a little minute. Uh, this was north side of the city and it takes a, some time to get down to the master's office, which is south side of the city. So he walks in, what, why, why are y'all here so long? What's going on? <laughs> and I tell him about it. And he's, man, y'all can't handle no 94 year old lady. What what the hell is, what what is going on? I'm like, well, he was okay pissing me off cause he's like trying to downplay. Like I get, we ain't been doing it for three, three months probably at the time, like on our own, but still. So he's like, all right, go on back upstairs, sit with her till the family gets back. All right, man. So we go back upstairs and of course I'm talking shit upstairs. She's still yelling in the background. So that kind of covers up my talking shit about the LT. Uh, but he's outside, he's on the phone. He's just walking around and shit. This lady is still going crazy. She started like trying to get out the door again. At this point, I'm just like, this is her house. Whatever she wants to do, she's going to do it. All right. So she runs out of the room, goes like this. She has a big house. She runs to the other part of her upstairs area and just starts throwing shit in the room, right? <laughs> and she looks at me, she's about to throw something. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I grab her arm, take her back to her room. She takes off running back to her bed and does that whole same shit over again. Well, my little T starts to hearing all this yelling and throwing shit going on upstairs. So we're upstairs with her, he comes in downstairs and he calls my name out. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, sir, what is it now? Man, y'all can't handle this lady. What's going on up there? I'm like, she's 
I mean, she's losing in her mind. She's not, she's not listening. What? So he calls her name out and she comes running to the top of the step and she picked up, I don't remember what, what the hell she picked up. It wasn't that too heavy, but she picked up something and he was like, I know you're not about to throw that at me. You must be out of your mind. I know you're not going to throw it at me. He's like, you come down here right now. Fucking watch this. I'm telling you. You haven't seen nothing like this. When I tell you, she threw this shit at him and hit him in the fucking face. Wham. Wham. Let me tell you, that ball was had a tight spiral. I could not control my laughter. <laughs> when I tell you, I'm, out of everything that man has ripped me up for, I'm surprised that's not a call that he's ripped me up for. Because that was the funniest shit that has probably happened under his command. Okay. Threw it and didn't give a damn. She sat there and stood at the steps and didn't give And he didn't do nothing either. He stood right there and disbelieved that she actually threw it at him. And that was the funniest shit ever. Okay. So after she did it, I looked at him and was like, so, so what now, LT? Like, what, what we got? What, what, what we doing? <laughs> So the family comes back like 10 minutes later and we've been here a freaking a long ass time. They come back. We got a voluntary commitment paperwork taken out. Right? So now we got to figure out how we went to the hospital without hurting this lady. Well, now that she just threw some of the LT, LT's all on board for handcuffing this lady to take her to the hospital because now he realized that this lady is about that life and she would assault us. Okay. So we legit had to fight with this lady to get those handcuffs on. It was a gentle fight, but she was strong. This is a strong old lady, okay? But we got the handcuffs on, took her to the hospital. So there is really not nothing to learn about this call other than it just been a funny ass call. And not necessarily that she kept fighting with us and she's 94 years old, but the fact that she threw something at my LT at the time. It's like all my frustration that was built up, everything in there just, just got let out. When it hit him right in the face, I never forget it ever in my life <laughs> all right y'all that's it for this video don't forget like share subscribe for more all right we got some more videos coming all right see you next time adios